Welcome to a walkthrough of the 11.11 Cloud Console focused on 365 data protection and recovery. The 11.11 Cloud Console is a single unified interface purpose-built to facilitate global management of all 11.11 cloud solutions. Through a combination of technology, services, and data, our customers and partners have the visibility and control they need to successfully meet their data protection and business innovation cloud initiatives, including backup, disaster recovery, cloud storage, and production hosting. For our purposes of this short video, we'll dive deeper into functionality for an organization backing up and restoring their 365 data for Exchange, Teams, SharePoint, and OneDrive. To begin, users will start at the dashboards for the 365 backup service. Here, an end user can easily understand the number of users they are subscribed to for that specific region. We will discuss data protection jobs in a few moments, but a customer or partner can modify protection jobs at any time and flexibly use the reserved capacity or leverage burst user capacity. You can also see the previously protected users are available from archive, which can allow for recovery of previous employees or data for a variety of recovery purposes. 1111 provides a white glove experience for our customers and partners, including onboarding and integration of a customer's first 365 organization into our cloud console and data protection technologies. Additional organizations can be added by a customer in a self-service capacity using secure, modern auth capabilities. And finally, on the dashboards page, an audit log module provides exceptional visibility on the actions, objects, and users engaging with protection configuration and data. If we look at the left-hand navigation, we can see various organizations and backup jobs for this customer's location. Let's look at key capabilities for an organization. At an organization level, I can see key functionality related to backup job success, restore sessions, user protection, and critically, using the Actions dropdown, I can modify or create additional backup jobs. Let's look at this in action. For example, I can use the default daily protection jobs or create a custom protection plan. I'll call this job example protection that will run every eight hours. And in this example, instead of backing up an entire service, I'll choose to protect a specific group. And in this scenario, choose to protect mailboxes and SharePoint. But as you can tell, the flexibility offered could allow a user a number of ways to protect their environment based on time of day, day of week services protected, and exclusions. But we all know protection is half the battle. Seamless recovery is another critical consideration. Restoration through the 11.11 Cloud Console is simple yet powerful for a user. We'll take an example exchange job. On the Summary tab, I have visibility on the status protection. And selecting the Actions dropdown, I'll choose a Create Restore Session. This will allow me to pick a point in time for recovery. As you likely know, many modern threats include corruption, deletion, and encryption, which may require using a previous point in time, something 11.11 users can do very simply. Selecting a point in time will kick off an active restore session. The summary screen will show a summary and any events associated with a recovery during the session. At the top center of the screen, we'll select the exchange data, in general, depending on permissions, a user can select a folder or object and choose to restore data in place for 365, to a different location in 365, or download data as a portable format. Speaking of permissions, the 11.11 Cloud Console features robust role-based access control capabilities in which users can be granted read or write permissions at different levels within their environment. This could include 365 backup organizations and jobs, or for an environment which includes DR as a service, backup, or production hosting, may also set permissions around elements like virtual gateway appliances, resource pools, and backup repositories. As you can tell, there's a lot of thought and functionality that goes into our 365 data protection experience. The same care and capabilities are reflected in the customer's ability to power their production and protection resources with 11.11 for DR as a service, I as a service, backup as a service, and cloud storage. As we wrap our brief 365 walkthrough, let's spend a moment on two final critical components, billing and support. I've selected the billing screen for 365. 
Here you can see the consistency of monthly costs as our 365 solution is all-inclusive for unlimited storage and retention. The only impact is adding additional users as an organization grows. And finally, our award-winning support team is included in any organization's subscription. Support can be reached in a number of convenient ways, but a popular option is our live chat. But regardless of how you reach us, with a 98% customer satisfaction rating and decades of expertise, you can rest assured you'll get a resolution. Thank you for joining us for an overview walkthrough of 365 Data Protection in the 1111 Cloud Console.